Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Travis Patron speaking and in today's programming tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the Ethereum Mist Wallet. Now the Mist Wallet is an Ethereum wallet that's actually developed by the Ethereum team themselves and it is my recommended wallet when you're working with Ethereum and I highly recommend that you familiarize yourself with the functioning of this wallet as we move forward because it's going to be the cornerstone of how to deploy smart applications and contracts onto the Ethereum network. What we're going to do in this course, or this lesson rather, is download and familiarize ourselves with this wallet. So to get started, go to github.com slash ethereum slash mist slash releases. And we're gonna find here the latest version of the Ethereum wallet. Currently, I'm working with version 0 0.7.4 or version 18. And on this page, you'll find the download links to download the Mist Wallet with your associated operating system. And right now, we're working with a Windows 10 64 bit operating system. We're going to select this one. If you're working with Mac, obviously use this one and Linux, depending on your operating system, either 64-bit or 32-bit, choose that option. You can also install it directly from the command line and directly from source code if you like. So let's go ahead and let's download this. Now once we have the Ethereum wallet downloaded on our operating system, we're going to want to extract this. And let's just extract this directly on the desktop for now. And here we go. You're going to find the ability to open the application directly inside the folder. And what we're going to do first is we're just going to create a shortcut. And we're going to put that directly on the desktop. We're just going to name it Ethereum Mist Wallet. And let's go ahead and fire this up. Now the first time you fire this up, it is going to establish your computer with a Ethereum node. And as you can see immediately, we're doing this through the Geth client, which is the underlying backbone of the op uh, connecting directly to the Ethereum network. So we're going to... see that this is actually synchronizing with the Ethereum blockchain and you can see in real time it's downloading the blockchain 1,585,445 blocks are being downloaded to my computer and so you're going to need a bit of space on your hard drive to use this wallet Now what we want to do is make sure that our computer has synchronized fully with the Ethereum blockchain. And once it's done this, let's go ahead and connect to the Ethereum test network. What this is going to allow us to do is mine Ether that allows us to test our applications using the Ethereum test network. And it's going to prompt us for a password. I'm not going to put in a particularly strong password because we're just using the testnet for now, but obviously moving forward, strong passwords are encouraged. What the Mist Wall has just done for us is created us a address on the Ethereum test network, which is represented by this string here, which is our public address or our home base on the Ethereum network. The Ethereum team likes to call this your Ether base because it is essentially your home base on the Ethereum network. And you can see that our computer is still synchronizing the entire blockchain. Let's make sure before we move on that that entire blockchain is synchronized. In the meantime, the Mist Wallet will allow you a few different recipes they call it, or tutorials on how to create various applications. I highly re recommend taking a look at these as they are produced directly from the Ethereum team.
All right, when the Ethereum blockchain is fully synchronized with their operating system, and it will take a while and it will take some disk space, we'll actually have the option to launch the wallet. And let's go ahead and do that. So right away we can see that the mist wall has created our Ethereum or ether base balance here and we currently have no ether. We are connected to the network, it says we have eight peers and it also displays the amount of time since the last block. Now if we go under develop and start mining, we're gonna mine the test net and let's see if we're capable of gaining some ether so that we can increase our balance from zero. Let's see if we can mine some ether. After a few minutes, it uh, it should populate our wallet with some ether fuel. So once our wallet has populated with some ether from the mining process, we'll actually be able to use this to deploy a smart contract. And you can see after a few minutes of mining, our wallet has been allocated 4.96 ether. And let's use this to deploy a smart contract. So go up to the contracts tab here, and it's going to give us the option to deploy a new contract. Click on that, and right away you're gonna see that we'll be depositing ether from our main Etherbase account, 4.96 ether to be exact. So let's go ahead and send all of that to our contract, which we're going to create right here in the Solidity contract source code box. So just to give you an example of just how exactly this works, we're gonna to put together a very simple, generic smart contract that can interoperate with the Ethereum test network. And it's worthwhile noting that the test network is reset periodically. So nothing that goes on this network is final. Go ahead and put in this box contract, which is a very high level construct of the Solidity language. And we're going to name this contract simply MIST. And MIST is going to be a public string which determines which type of application MIST is. It's going to contain a function named MIST. And this function is going to allow us to determine, once again, the type of application MIST is. So application underscore type. And just like that, we've successfully put together a very simple generic smart contract with interoperating with the Ethereum network. So this is going to give us the option to deploy our contract name MIST and type we're going to put in it is a wallet. And that is essentially our smart contract. Now, this also gives the option to move the fee allocated with this contract. Obviously, if you give a higher fee, it's going to deploy faster on the Ethereum network. Whereas if you give a lower, it's going to be more inexpensive, but it's going to take more time to deploy. So let's move this up to a relatively fast deploy and a higher fee and let's go ahead and click deploy so right away this gives us a record of the smart contract that we're attempting to deploy and you can see it gives you an estimated fee consumption 160,510 gas and a maximum fee and also the gas price let's go ahead and enter our password and send this transaction Now you can see at the bottom here under transactions, this contract that we just deployed is waiting for a confirmation from the Ethereum network. And it should only be a few seconds given that our fee was relatively high to confirm this on the Ethereum network. And we see there that it has received a confirmation and therefore it is being executed or is in the process of being executed 
on the Ethereum network. And that essentially does it for a very basic generic smart contract on the Ethereum network. What we wanted to do in this lesson is establish just how exactly the MIST wallet works and how we can use it to deploy a smart contract onto the Ethereum network. Keep in mind that we are using the testnet as we move forward. We're going to expand the depth of the smart contracts functionality and as well deploy these contracts on the real Ethereum test network. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.